Hi everyone, so for those of you who don't know what this video is about, this is just a very short intro to get you up to speed with whatever's happening here. I know you've been following me on Instagram and YouTube for the uh, creative visual stuff that I do, the video poems, the ads and everything. Uh, the thing is, uh, between the times when I'm releasing these videos, I, I didn't have anything to post. And uh, besides video and photography, I'm also passionate about fragrances. So I will try to explain to you how the fragrances that I have and the fragrances that I encounter and love inspire me, how I perceive them and uh, how they make me feel. This is in no way, shape or form meant to be a professional perfume reviewer vlog. I'm simply going to tell you how they make me feel and what they inspire to me. Uh, so without further ado, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, a fragrance that was the latest to blow my mind, literally. This is uh, Encelade by Marc Antoine Barra. And I actually created a short um, mood video about how this fragrance makes me feel and how I envision it. And I'm going to roll it right now. So I made some research before finding out from official sources about where the uh, name Encelade is inspired from. Initially I thought Encelade was inspired from Enceladus, a moon of Saturn. But ultimately I found out that it's actually inspired from Enceladus, a giant from the Greek mythology which was an arch enemy to Athena. And in the Greek mythology it is believed that Athena defeated Enceladus, but actually there are versions which say that Zeus defeated Enceladus. And ultimately when Enceladus was defeated, he was buried right under Mount Etna, where today's Mount Etna is in Sicily. And it was believed that every time Mount Etna was rumbling and spewing lava, it was because of Enceladus rolling under the mountain. I created this short video uh, with some frames of the Etna volcano, which I shot during my visit in Sicily in 2021. And these were some unused clips I, I had um, in the backlog. I actually listened to Marc Antoine Barra himself talk about this fragrance in an interview conducted by um, the perfume guy, uh, Sebastian. Maybe you're following him if you're uh, passionate about fragrances. I'll link to his profile in the comments. Um, so in that interview, I heard Marc Antoine Barra explaining that this perfume uh, was created with uh, an explosion of happiness in mind. To me, this fragrance literally inspired the same feeling I had when climbing Mount Etna. And deep inside my heart, I was actually hoping to witness a volcanic eruption while climbing Mount Etna, just to be able to experience that sheer power of nature, but without me being hurt, if that makes any sense. So this fragrance gives me the same feeling of wanting to witness the uh, raw power of nature without being affected by it. Just taking in all of those mysterious things that create our planet. To me, this fragrance is about an energy that's not negative, just as nature's power is not negative. This is just witnessing this sheer power of our planet to create things that are way beyond us. When you smell this fragrance in a room, you're not going to say, oh my God, someone with a vetiver fragrance just walked in. No, this is not the classic vetiver. Just to be a little bit technical though, uh, the fragrance opens up with a strong rhubarb scent, which gives it that sweetness, a dripping sweetness. And right after that, you get some cedar, some sandalwoods, and in the end, the whole scent rounds up with some creamy, distinctive vetiver. 
which is also completed by some tonka beans. And I hope to get my hands on uh, the other releases from Marc-Antoine Barra. So thank you so much for watching. This is my opinion on uh, Encelade by Marc-Antoine Barra. And I hope to see you soon with another video about another fragrance that I love. Take care. Bye.